So you know how there are so many videos out there on this oil, that oil, this oil, how to make them DIY Ayurvedic oils and all that. And you watch the videos and you're interested in using them as well. But then at the same time, we are also interested in seeing people practically using it to see whether the hair grows. And so sometimes people make comments in the comment section that I'm going to try it. Then we're interested in knowing, okay, for the person to come back, reply in a few days or in a few weeks, to see whether the person actually used it and it worked for the person. I am going to be that person who does that. I'm going to be your guinea pig. So if you have any oil or any DIY or whatever, you want to know whether it works. Because I am going to dedicate myself to be doing that. Any content I'm going to put out, any DIY I'm going to put out, it is something that I have used or tried or have heard about and have researched and read about and I know that it works. And I am not just going to end there. I am actually going to go through it, use it on my own hair, come back to show you, and you will be the judge to tell whether it works or not. But let's have it in mind also that people's hair grow at different rates. And the rate at which one person's hair will grow is different from the rate at which my hair will grow. So another person might do it and it will grow faster than how mine is. It does not mean that it works less for me. It's just that our rates are different. I hope you understand. Though our hairs grows at different lengths, but at the same time, it's not. It's just a marginal difference. It's not something so huge like someone's hair grow more like two inches a month. No, another person's grow, hair grows half an inch. You know, not that much of a difference, but like just a slight difference. So let's go into the real video why we are here. Smells in one of the rice water challenge where I apply rice water in my hair for two weeks. Next, I'm going to massage. I'm lost for words. Oh my edges are growing back. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see? If you if you see a picture of the before, you understand why I'm celebrating. You will understand why I am celebrating. Okay, okay. Let's let's continue this video. I can't believe this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now to the length check.
guys, if nothing at all grew, even if my hair did not grow at all, there's one thing that definitely grew, and that is my edges. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! My edges grew. See, I, I'm happier about my edges even more than my whole hair. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> The best thing I should have done was use a tape measure to measure, but I find it hard measuring with the tape measure, but I'll definitely do that with the next uh, challenge. I'll use tape measure instead. But aside that, I really feel like my hair has volume, although it actually feels like it is more stretched than the other, the beginning, but for volume, I definitely feel like I have added on volume. I don't know where the hair, extra hair came from, but I definitely feel like there is more volume and i wasn't really expectant of too much because it's just two weeks i just really wanted to give it a try and see although like a tiny bit of inch measurement is really not accurate trust me i really don't feel like it's accurate next time i'll do better to use a tape measure to measure my hair comment in the comment section if you think that there is actually growth or not the angle at which the phone was placed there's there's a difference in it which is the first one was very straight, the other one was kind of like tilted. I tried my best to get the angle to be the same as possible, but I I watched the previous video, the, the beginning video, I still I didn't get the angle as right as it should be. And also how close I was to the camera before I was very close to the camera done measuring it today. I was a little bit further and that has also affected how it looks like. So the next time, what I'm going to do is I'll actually use a tape measure to do so. The dress I used to measure to is not even the best because the lines are too many and can get really confusing. So maybe if I will do it, I'll find a white shirt or something to mark or mark shirt so that I know that, okay, this is where it started from and this is where it has gotten to. So it's easier that way. Rice water really works. It's not that because I did it and it's looking this way. Yeah, there are factors, like I've mentioned, that affected how it looks like it's, it was it was interesting doing it. i really feel like my camera is not really doing justice to how my hair actually looks plenty or actually looks big camera is not really doing justice to it but if you see me in person you would definitely because when i look in the mirror my hair looks my hair looks really plenty but on camera i don't know it looks smaller than it actually looks in person it was a rice water challenge i'm i was i'm excited to have done it and i'm definitely doing it again but thank you so much for watching this video and please comment your comments as i said earlier turn your post notification bell and of course subscribe for more of this content and if there's anything you would like to know whether it works please comment it in the comment section and i'll definitely give it a try for you to see whether it works or not but so far i think rice water is good it definitely added uh, to the hair shine i don't have any dandruff whatsoever and i'm really i really like it i really like how my hair is looking right now i'm enjoying it that was it i'm glad i did it and even though it is not like a huge difference or it doesn't it doesn't seem to be like there's a difference i'm glad i tried at least i did and i know how it is two weeks is is just short to see so much of a difference so you can definitely try this but for a longer period of time and believe me Price water does work. So till we meet again in the next video. Peace and I'm out.